Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying the videos. So, it's Wednesday. Christmas is coming up. What's going on in the property market? And what's gonna happen with Brexit and the effects of that with the property market? Well, let's do some of those. Look, first of all, it's been quite a busy week for me. I've been down in Cambridge. We've secured uh, one service accommodation. We are waiting to hear this week if we've got a second one. And that'll be quite exciting because we do want to move into that market a little bit. And yesterday, even in Lincolnshire, I was looking at a large building that uh, some investors want to turn that into five apartments and an HMO. And that was quite exciting because they were discussing about me going into the project. It's a fairly simple project. I can't see any major issues with it. And we saw the building yesterday and we're quite uh, pleased with what we've seen there. So, you know, things are, are moving forward. I am like many investors waiting for the right time to be buying because I do think in the new year, probably after the furlough stopped and after the stamp duties stopped, although stamp duty may well be, you know, pushed on a little bit more. I, I half expect that to happen. But I think um, we will start seeing the effects sort of end of January, February, March and onwards through the year that we will see pockets and properties coming on the market where people can't buy them. And this is the effect that I'm seeing of what's happened through this last 12 months very much with COVID and everything that where people are going on to furlough that means you know yes they they've got this income but it, does that give security if they want to move home and get a mortgage i don't know if lenders will take that as security or, or proof of of income because does it is it just a, a delay and you know that company go down especially in the catering industry as i was a chef for many many years um i do know that if you're in a catering industry and you're on furlough and uh, there is a danger that if you wanted to move and, and use your track record you might have been working at a place for 20 years but the truth is is that many companies are going bust many of them uh, they just can't keep their heads above water uh, cash flow issues really and there will be a lot of people that come early next year that won't be able to move and then some of them will find that they can't even afford mortgages and so i think things will start to come through and we will see a decline in, in house prices, etc. Not as massive as I first thought. So I don't think it's gonna be a crash, but I think we're start to see a steady decline. Obviously there's issues with the economy. But look, the, the main thing is, is keep looking for opportunities. That's what we do. That's something that we will continue to do. And it's something that we're looking to invest in. So you know, I'm basically am looking around the Lincolnshire, consider Nottinghamshire, but uh, Lincolnshire and Cambridgeshire uh, and in between. So if you are watching this and you have anything or you hear of anything, then contact me. That's something that we may be interested to purchase. Uh, we have quite uh, significant funds available to us at th this time. And we are looking for good investments that we can add value to. And that's the thing that we're doing. And I think many of you, if you're looking to get into property, even the buy, refer, and refinance model is a little bit flawed at the minute because unless you're getting those big discounts and adding significant value, I don't think it's enough just to do a good refurb on a property. I think you've got to at least add a bedroom or cut it up into apartments, two or three apartments. And so you can really uplift that value. And then if you can get you know the 30% margin and you refinance and you can get most or all of your money out. And so that's the sort of thing that I'm looking for. If you find anything like that, then let me know, that'd be great. And we're gonna talk about Brexit in a minute. But what I am finding are some investors who are looking at this time to go into property and they are getting, I wouldn't say scammed, but through some naivety really, they are expending money where they really shouldn't be. So some of that will be a property consultant. Um, if you're looking to go and get planning on a, a property, planning consultants, and I know if you're watching this, you're gonna bad mouth me, I know that, but if they haven't got a, 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 a an in-house 
architect, then I have to question the value of a planning consultant. Yes, they've got experience in property. Yes, they might know a few things, but it's the architect who is the key person that you need to be speaking to. And that key person will know all the legislation. They know all the sizes and everything else. Now, a planning consultant should be up to speed, but they will always, if they get your business, they will contract you to a, to an architect. So you're not just paying for their time. But let's suppose in, you know, the architect's going to cost you £5,000. They'll be charging you six or six and a half thousand rather than you go direct to them. Plus, they do everything that you need. You do not need the planning consultant um, there. Now, if you just want some advice on a building, yes, I've got no problem. You can, you know, buy some of their time as people buy some of my time. So people are looking for consultancy in a property investment, but you don't need a property consultant agency to, to tell you lots of things all the way through the project and cost you thousands of pounds. If you are wanting some consultancy on looking at a project, then you know I do that and there's other people that do that. It should be just a one-off payment for them to look at a project. Now, what's the payment you're gonna ask me? It depends the size of the project. If you're looking at just in a refurb on one house, that's fairly cheap. But if you're looking at cutting the property into multiple flats and working out numbers, does it work or not, then that will be much more expensive. So you can see, but, my point is, people are getting duped, if you want, to go with these agencies who are just gonna subcontract to an architect, and you really need to understand what's going on there. So, do, do people need training? Yes, in my opinion, they do. However, in the UK, a lot of trainers have got very bad press. And uh, in my opinion, rightfully so. There are a lot of trainers out there, and I've been accused recently of suggesting a, on a particular trainer. I haven't. I haven't indicated or suggested who people are when I've spoken about a collection of people, but I have been accused of, of doing it and I've actually had um, a, a, a letter from a, um, a solicitor saying I'm talking about their client, which I'm not. So anyway. That must be a very nervous person thinking that they are in a strange position. But I, I don't do that. But the truth of the matter is that there are a lot of trainers in this, in this industry now which have sprung up all over the place with very, very little experience. Some of them are excellent at talking and convincing people that they know what they're talking about. But as you and I both know, a little bit of knowledge is very, very dangerous. And unfortunately, there's a lot of trainers. There's a lot of uh, groups out there that absolutely slag trainers off. Now, I think they do go a bit far, especially when they're becoming personal. But I, I, you know, I can understand why people are getting very angry because a lot of trainers let, let a lot of people down. They promise one thing and don't deliver. Um, you know, Leslie Tower and myself, we have a training company, but we don't want to go, you know, big, big. If you're interested, we're really only interested at this time for one-to-one -one mentorships. You know, we're mentoring a professional footballer, some very professional high-end people. If you're interested, and again, that is not cheap, but we are very, very, um, you know, strong on what we're what we're doing. I can tell you that um, three of our mentors have, have come together and they've done a business with less than 12 months. They've got uh, well over a six figure income now, a turnover of over six figures. And it's very impressive. And we're going to be doing uh, videos about that in interviewing and you're, you will come to see that. So, you know, what we do is that we really try to you know, do what the mentees want and get them there. But if you're interested, let me know. We can talk to you and have a uh, a brief call to see if we're a good fit and see if what we do will benefit you. And very much we work with people who have funds. Please, let's put that on the table. Um, there are some very creative ways of growing uh, finance and growing money through property, through, you know, whether it's sourcing, um, uh, option deals and, and the like. But we want to work with people who have funds because that means that we're not putting people into debt. We're not interested to put people into debt to train them. However, that's that thing. If you're interested in training, let us know and we can talk to you about that. It'd be a pleasure. Brexit. What is happening with Brexit? Look, we're right at the time that, you know, is there a deal? Is there a no deal? 
it's a shame my personal view is i would like to see some sort of deal so you know it makes it a lot smoother but i understand that they don't want to compromise because certain things are just unacceptable so where are we going to go at the minute today when i'm filming this it looks like we're going to have no deal walk away and come under the world world trade organization's regulations and you know, good, bad, whatever it be, the British economy is a hugely strong, flexible, as said by the Bank of England, and I'm sure that we will overcome it, will be hard. I think we'll see some inflation come here anyway, just by coming out. But let's face it, Europe's not in a great place either. What's going to happen to property markets? Well, again, with COVID and Brexit, we will see a little bit of a downturn. We will. It's coming. But I don't think it'll be as bad as what we imagine you know what we first thought a big crash i don't think it's going to be that heavy it's certainly going to be not nice for a lot of people but i am encouraged by what i've seen that property prices are strong lenders are strong in the market valuers are not really downvaluing too much at all so everything looks really really good you know brexit once we go what will happen Europe's not in a great place either. They're not. Um, there's a lot of countries that just can't keep going with their finances. And when Britain go, who's the second biggest contributor in Europe, you know, is it a house of cards coming down? It's difficult to see how Europe as unity can survive it, really is. Um, Britain, we wouldn't be going out unless we had you know, plans. And yes, there's another car plant, I think over in Wales, which is closed down. But we're very inventive, and I think that uh, Britain will come strong again. I think it will be the place to a, a centre of Europe. I really do. We've seen Chinese, three million Chinese people have been invited to come and live here. We've already just signed a trade deal with, um, with Singapore, 17 billion. That's a new one for us, really. And the same is going to come. I think China is going to be a big uh, trade deal with them and the like. It's going to be all over the world. Interestingly, no one ever talks about Saudi Arabia, but uh, because of... Uh, human right issues and things like that which no one talks about because of course the money is incredible what that does for this country Shh. but that's uh, that's you mustn't talk about that anyway listen guys i think it's an encouraging time for investors there are certainly projects out there that you and i can get hold of and, and grow in value there will be sadly a time coming a lot of people won't be able to afford their mortgages. A lot of people won't be able to afford to get mortgages. And that will be a time for investors. And the true thing that is always there, more millionaires are made in times of depressions and recessions than they are in the good times. So, you know, it is with a heavy heart. I don't like seeing that we're going to profit from other people's misfortune. I hope we don't. I hope we can be part of the solution. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great week. Watch my development uh, videos on Fridays. I am going to take a little break over Christmas, but listen, have a wonderful Christmas, have a wonderful week, and may God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.